Hey guys, this is my DIY wood vise. If you stick around, I'll show you how to make one. Okay guys, so I went ahead and uh, un or disconnected this from underneath the table. Um, the nice thing about this clamp is that if you don't have a lot of room in your shop, like I obviously don't, um, this, this is extremely portable. Uh, how I used to have it is line it up with the edge of your table. Clamp it down. Get the clamps in there. And there you go. As you can see, you got you know good access. If you swing your clamps back, you can get a nice long board in there. Um, what I done today, in fact. Because I just drilled some holes in the bottom. That way I can just mount it underneath my table. It's not taking up really any room. Uh, it does the same thing. Okay, so um, after I built this, I did find one drawback. Let me show you. But it's easily fixable. Well, that's the good thing. Now, I use it a lot for doing edge banding. So if you need to edge band this, you drop that in there. You start tightening these down, you can see what happens here. It wants to do that. Easy fix though. What I done, Bench and a three quarter board, just rough cut. Stuck some buffer on the back side of them. Stuck some Velcro here. Now remember, this is upside down because I've had it mounted underneath. Um, stuck some Velcro in there. What you do, if you're edge banding a three quarter board, you stick that in there. I'll show you guys how it works. I'll have to do it the other way since I got this upside down right now. but. Slide your three quarter board in there. Normally it would be velcroed right now. Or I'm sorry, I switch that. Half inch. And then just drop your board in. Tighten up the clamps. Keeps that gap there for you. That way it gives you even pressure on the board. And then you get a nice thing with that um, to do your edge banding or planing. I don't use a plane a whole lot, so I don't use it for that. But if you need to, it's nice and solid. It'll hold it in place. Um, I'm going to include a, a PDF of how I did this, um, some plans for you guys. So if anybody else wants to build one of these, 
And like I said, super simple to do. Take you about an hour to build it. Um, scrap three quarter ply. You can make it any size you want. And you can build this any size you want. Um, this is just the depth that I chose to go with. Now, let me grab another board here. The other nice feature about this one is, not only will it work on that, but if you've got a nice, you know, nice long board, the only limitation is the height of the clamp. As you can see, it's in there. I mean, it's solid. So this is your only limitation here to the floor. Um, but it holds it great. It's worked great for everything I've done. Let me get it back here. I'll show you guys. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to hold on to my camera here, so it might be a little bit shaky. But you can see what I've done here is uh, it's just a piece of three-quarter ply, like I said. That's all this is made up of, the entire thing. I put a couple of braces back here to help support it a little bit. Um, this is your, I don't know what you want to refer to it as, but your outside clamp here. And then I just run some, used a quarter inch straight bit in my router to notch this out so that it'll accept my clamps. One on this side, one on this side. Um, and get dimensions or some measurements for you here. So. About four inches, I think about eight inches tall overall. And like I said, you guys can make this any height you want. It doesn't have to be that that tall. Um, I think we're about four, oh, about three and three quarter in there on the on the notch. Uh, so this notch is all you know dependent on, of course, whatever type of clamp. But I think it's pretty universal. I think these are all pretty much about a quarter of an inch thick or so. So you could use whatever clamp you want. I mean, you guys, if, you get, if you've got a huge, you know, box or whatever, something that you need to stick in there that's that's even bigger, uh, this thing has no limitations to it. Um, let me grab another clamp here. As you can see, I've got some two-foot clamps here. I know this seems kind of silly. But, if you were so inclined, and you needed a two-foot opening for something you were working on, you can do that with this. There you go. Let me get around this side for you, just so you can see. Um, I mean, limitation, there, there's none to this. It can go as wide as you want. So, um, I guess that's about all I can show you on it. Uh, I'm sure there's improvements that can be made on it. Um, I haven't found any. Like I said, I've used it quite a bit. I haven't found anything wrong with it that, uh, that I would change. Okay, so there it is, guys. Um, I'll kind of hold this on here for a little bit just so you guys can get an idea if there's anybody out there that does want to make one of these. Um, comes in really handy. By the way, these Velcro strips on the back, let me spin this around. When I've got this mounted up onto the table, I just use that. Um, these spacers that I made, I put some Velcro on the back. I just stick them to that like that. That way they're handy. I don't end up using them, burning them, doing whatever with them, thinking they're scrap. So that's all that's for. So let me get this straightened out. I'll give you guys a shot of it. Like I said, I'll, I'll try to get a PDF plan thrown up in the description. That way if you guys want to build one of these, you can. And again, you're looking about eight inches tall on this particular one. Uh, let's see what we got. We got about 20 inches wide is what I made it. Now you got to keep in mind that th these are, 
these are coming in four inches also so you know you're taking out six inches overall so you only got about 18 inches or not 18 inches but you only got about 14 inches in there so it's probably wide enough for anything i do um, but also you can adjust it you know by sliding your clamps out a little more towards the edge so it's not a big deal but you could go wider okay guys so that's it hope somebody finds this useful thanks for watching